it's me, Excadenensis, and today's video is going to be a little online shopping haul. So I've done one of these before, basically this is a bunch of stuff that I bought off of Mercari, and it's just stuff that I buy for my own collection anyway, but I thought I would share, because I, every single time I mention that I bought something on Mercari, I get a lot of questions about it. It's just another online shopping app like eBay. Unfortunately, Mercari US does not ship outside of the US, and you can't really shop on it if you're outside the US, unfortunately, but if you're within the US, it's like one of my favorite doll buying resources, and I'll put a link in the description to that. Um... Some of this stuff is from eBay, though. I don't 100% remember for everything, but I'll point out what was on eBay and the relative prices that I paid for things. So let's get started. So the first thing, just because it's up top, this is very exciting. So this is the like holiday special edition 2021 Rapunzel doll. And I keep not buying these. There's an Ariel that they did in 2020 that I really wanted, but I just never ended up buying her. They retail for $40, I think. I think I got her for $25 or $30 because her box looks like this. Sometimes the Disney store just delivers these to people like this, so that's probably what happened here, and this person might have been an inbox collector or something. But, for me, great deal. And I'm very excited because I really wanted this doll, and someday I will find Ariel, but I think she got quite expensive. Uh, but I'm really excited. I love her. And, speaking of Disney dolls and limited edition Disney dolls, I also got this Ultimate Princess Celebration Mulan doll. She actually came with her box, and she was under retail brand new perfect condition. I paid I think $90 for her with her box and everything. Insane. And this was on Mercari as well and I adore this doll. I'm so excited about her. Look! So pretty. So this is actually my second designer Mulan doll. This one is far superior to my other one. I actually really love the Ultimate Princess Celebration and I've bought a couple of them but I haven't really been showing them on camera just because I don't know. I don't know. I can start reviewing them when I get them, but I don't really get them on release day anymore because they don't really sell out, so why? And then also, they keep showing up on Mercari for good deals, so I can just buy them there, like a month or two after their release date. Anyway, all right, we're getting to some weirdness. Okay, this I believe was from eBay. This is a Lala Loopsie Girls doll. This is Peanut Big Top, and she's in box. I'm actually not going to unbox her because I really like the box art and like especially the back of these. And I'm sure I can find her out of box. Lala Lipsy Girls, if you guys didn't know, I mention it all the time, but these are one of my all-time favorite doll lines that ever happened. I don't know why, just something about them just clicks for me. And it's funny because they have a lot of the things that normally I hate if a doll has them, like molded on clothes, I don't know what just fell, molded on accessories even, the hair isn't like hair. I don't know, they have so many, and no articulation, they have very little articulation, but everything is done so well on these, like the theming and everything is so perfect that they are one of my all-time favorite dolls and that's an important thing because a lot of people as soon as they see molded on anything on a doll they instantly condemn it as like this is the worst doll ever created and I think that there's nuance to it you can be a doll that is completely against everything that I love about dolls and be top tier for me and that's what happened here I love Lala Loopsie Girls so I'm just trying to complete my collection doing it quite slowly they the thing with these is that they're not necessarily rare, and they're not necessarily collected, but they're very rare to come up for sale because people didn't collect them at the time, so collectors aren't selling their collections. So when something like Monster High had so many collectors that people sell their collections and they tend to be relatively cheaper, and with all the Loopsie Girls, like, I'm not spending $50 each on them. I'm not doing it, so that's kind of why I don't have them all, even though I really should. Anyway. Um, I think this is a Mycene doll. This was off of Mercari. I paid, if this is the one I think, I paid $25 for her. And, uh, yeah. So the reason I bought her, other than that I just don't have her, is because she actually came with a ton of her accessories. So I think this is the, oh god, I don't remember what store, but this is a shopping Chelsea. And the shopping dolls are relatively common, actually, but it's hard to find them with their extra stuff unless you buy them brand new in box. So I jumped at the opportunity to get her, and I believe this is her stuff. Sorry, I have to unbox things to make sure that I receive them, so that's why everything's out of the bags, and then I put them aside for this video. Um, okay, so she came with all her stuff. So she came with the second outfit, the second pair of shoes, the jewelry still packaged, the sunglasses still packaged. She came with the little shopping bags, like, awesome, and this purse, which is like, really cool. So I bought her just because she came with all that stuff, and she has these butterfly shoes, which are amazing. And yeah, I hope that this is shopping Chelsea, otherwise that's gonna be a bit awkward. I thought she she's not Aldo. What store was she? I don't remember. Um, but she's super cute. Look at this Chelsea. Very, very pretty doll. And I'm excited because I have 
um, one of the shopping Barbies and I have one of the shopping Nolies and I have that same shopping Nolie in box so this doll is going to display really nicely with them and I really love her. She's super cute and love my scenes. I'm always happy to add more my scenes to my collection which you'll see more later in this video. Get excited. Okay in here ah this was actually different. This was Facebook marketplace but shipped which doesn't normally happen and this is B spells a lot. And I'm really excited that I found B spells a lot because I don't actually already have her and she's one of the original run ones and she had her glasses which I don't think they're intended to come off but you know as a kid just ripping on things is very common so sometimes when I find her for good prices secondhand she's missing her glasses so I was really excited to find her with her glasses and her bow and her complete first outfit and her pajamas so she actually comes with the top and the bottom for the pajamas which is great because I never find the PJs and if I find them secondhand like at a thrift store or something PJs come in handy because <laughs> I usually actually do find them with outfits funny enough but anyway very excited she's super super cute and I didn't already have her and I got her for ten dollars Facebook marketplace is iffy for me because unless you find it locally it's normally not a very good price but and most sellers even if they mark something as like you can buy this it shipped sometimes it's just they forgot like they hit the wrong button and they don't actually mean that they'll ship it but the seller shipped this to me and I am incredibly grateful because that doll is a wishlist doll for me and I really love her and I'm so excited all right speaking of Lala Loopsy Girls these have actually been on display this whole time but <laughs> you know I bought them during this time frame so these are some Lala Loopsy Girls I got these for it was a really good price I think it was like 25 for these three and I really wanted mittens with her hat because I do have one of her hats but I have like four of this doll and only one hat so it's good to have another hat for them because I wanted the hat with the PJ outfit too so anyway I love you, Mittens. This is my favorite, um, I think my favorite Lala Loopsy Girls character, but I don't know. I don't have them all yet. Uh, and then these are Stormy and Cloudy. I bought them because I thought Cloudy was complete, other than, like, the hair clips and stuff, but she did have one. But I didn't realize that she was supposed to have little wings. Like, that just completely missed my brain, I guess. So, unfortunately, she is not complete, but it's good to have them at all, and maybe someday I'll be able to complete them. Cloudy's missing most of her stuff, so she doesn't have her little headband or like bow she doesn't have her shoes I think she's missing another accessory too but regardless like they look good on display and I'm really excited to have them because this set in particular for some reason is quite expensive online like secondhand used they will sell for like 60 to 70 dollars for some reason no idea why it makes me sad because I would really like to have them in my collection but it's fine all right this next one this is from Mercari I paid 14 dollars for this and I'm very excited because this is from a doll line that I've been wanting to add to my collection for a while and I just haven't yet. Oh, you know what? No, it wasn't $14. It was $9. I, I sent it an offer and didn't think it was going to get accepted and it was. Um, so these were out during like my, the prime era of dolls 10 years ago. So, well, probably like eight years ago. These are from Cutie Pops by Jada Toys and I really like cutie pops i just never got them because i didn't realize they were this big i haven't seen them since i saw them in stores back then um i thought they were really cute and there was this specific one i wanted so bad i'm not gonna say her name um you'll just see her come into my collection eventually hopefully and i'll tell you about her but i just really love these this isn't one of my like top wish list ones but this is one from the original set and the reason i bought her is because she comes with everything like this is all of her stuff in here including her dog which i think was pack packaged separately but anyway, these dolls came out somewhere in like the 2013-2014 range, I don't 100% recall. And they're just so cute. They were so cute and I really, really love them. And I've just been hoping to add them to my collection. They're pretty easy to find secondhand, but I wanted everything. I wanted all the extra pops so I can actually like do the thing that the dolls are meant to do. And when you find them, I didn't realize they had such nice hair. This is like, is it Kanekalon or Sarant? Like I can't, it's really nice though, um, which I'm surprised by actually. And then all of her stuff. So by the way, if you didn't know, the gimmick for these dolls is that every piece can be popped out and then put somewhere else. So they come with different eyes that you can pop in and out. All of the little buttons and stuff on their, well, I threw that one. All the little charms on their clothes can be switched around. But even if you don't have the charms, it still like doesn't look terrible but it's so cute it's so like decor kawaii like it's so much fun and this doll line is adorable and they came out at the same time as like or during the same time period as like lala loops 
Lala Lucy girls, um, la dee da is what I was trying to say, <laughs> Ever After High, like all these other doll lines, there was so much on the market, and I just really loved this whole era of dolls. This is another, like, very dick work why you think that they have they have these little yarn hair things so you can take their little hair plugs out and put new ones in it's just that's the wrong side this is the one that goes on that side but anyway just so cute um but they came out during like such an amazing era for toys that is so nostalgic and iconic to me and i think um like 50 years from now it'll always be remembered like all the dolls from this era will always be like really um I don't know, I just, I really love them, and I wanted to have a Cutie Pops doll for a long time, so I'm really glad that I grabbed one, I managed to grab one, and then this is her dog, who I think, one of them is named Cookie, and I don't remember which, well, let's see if we can find out, I don't know, alright, Cookie is our doll, and the, the prototypes for these are so cute, and then, what's your dog's name? This is potentially Dot they're not in color so I can tell I think this is dot and so the cutie pops thing continues here so there's different tails that you can switch around there's different ears that you can switch around so when you find these second hand they're usually missing a ton of stuff um I think you can switch the hair no on the dogs you can't switch the hair but you can switch the little accessories on the bow and the eyes also switch I think no so the eyes don't switch on the dogs sorry I don't I haven't had them so I can't really advertise for them too too well I can't be like oh I know everything about them because I don't um, I can't get the tail to go on right now, but see, there's like a shorter tail. This tail is dipped in like icing or something. There's different bows for Cookie. These are little closed eyes. So the cute thing about the closed eyes, if I can tell which one goes on which side, is that you don't have to put both in. So you can actually have your doll like winking, which is quite cute. And these, just like Lottie doll, remind me a lot of pull-up dolls, especially because these dolls could blink. Um, I think that their proportions are very pull-up as well, and there's a hat, which is insanely cute. Um, a little hairbrush that you can keep your pops on, which is actually quite nice of them. Look, you can keep your extra pops on here so you don't lose them. Uh, and there's, like, play sets that you can get, too, that have little spots for- I just think these are awesome, and I'd love to add more to my collection someday, but again, I'm being very picky with them. Uh, here's more ears for the dog, so a folded ear, a perked up ear, but not, like, these longer ears. And yeah, this this era of dolls, I talk about it all the time. It was like the golden era. Like it was the doll renaissance. And right, well, no, that was the doll golden era. Now we're in the doll renaissance where all these amazing doll lines are popping up again, just like 10 years ago. Anyway, very nostalgic, very iconic to me. I'm very excited about it. All right, next we have what's in here. Okay, so this actually is the most recent thing that I purchased. It's an Ever After High doll. Uh, it actually came from someone who used to do toy YouTube videos, but their channel seems to be gone. Like, I looked at the business card and it didn't say, I don't know. Bought it on Mercari. I think I paid $26 for this doll. Something in that range. Came with some stickers, which is quite cute and sweet. A purse. And gee, I wonder why I got this Nina Thumbel card and blurb. Well, you see. I bought Nina Thumbell, who was the last girl Ever After High character that I needed to have them all. So now I have one of every single Ever After High character, which has been my goal since I was 13 years old. Even though back then there weren't that many Ever After High characters, I was always missing one or two somewhere down the line. And the last two that I needed were Jillian Beanstalk. My, or, well, I needed Myra, Courtly, Nina, and Jillian. And I got Myra and Courtly earlier this year. And I just got... Uh, Jillian like a week ago and now I have Nina so I have them all and I got them all for good prices basically retail for all of them this doll is in perfect condition by the way and I'm pretty sure complete but if not complete enough for me and I'm so excited because especially this particular these last few characters are amazing first of all and second of all like their faces are so cute because they use the newer face sculpts and face paint styles like I just love them and I'm so grateful to finally have this doll uh because she's so pretty and I just love all of these like Justine is one of my all-time favorite ever after high dolls I love Michelle like all these dolls that came out at this time and I'm so excited about her she has so much of her stuff like my Jillian did not come with this so I don't know I'm just I'm so excited I can't believe I found her there's like this I didn't used to do this but if Mercari kind of has an algorithm so it pays attention to what items you click on and what items you like and what items you buy so there's like this recommended feed at the bottom and a lot of this stuff has been coming from the recommended feed because I'll just every now and then I'll check that recommended feed and something will come up that I want and I'm like for example 
this, but we'll get to it. Anyway, um, the next thing, I have not unboxed yet, but I do know what's in here. These also came from that recommended feed, so <laughs> Mercari, it works. You're doing a good job, <laughs> but I'm not particular. I'm happy about it, but I'm also not particularly happy about it, you know? Um, but anyway, in here, oh, they put a note. Thank you, Brooke, for your order from my collection to yours. Oh, love your videos from Jacob. <gasps> Oh, I thought that was just using my name from Mercari, but I guess you recognized that it was me. Oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> well, thank you, Jacob. I hope you see this. I'm so excited about these because I never find Ever After High merchandise ever. And we have two things, one from Ever After High and from, one from Monster High, but it's like a matching set, which is so cute. And I, I really love doll related merchandise, but even when Ever After High was new, I didn't really see a lot of Ever After High merchandise on shelves. I wasn't looking super hard. I was like 14. I couldn't just go to stores and search, you know, but I, the point is like, I didn't see a lot. I managed to get a bunch of Monster High, but not Ever After High. But anyway, these are pencil tins. So this is an Ever After High one. And I love this. These are so cute. And I love tins like this. Like I can keep some, probably their rings I would keep in here. Um, it would be a good place for them. And then this is a Monster High one, which interestingly has Dracula Angulia on it. And I love the color story of these. It's so cute. And it says gorgeous and Monster High. This one is so cute. I really love the art style of these. Absolutely no idea where these came from. But Jacob, if you, um, <laughs> if you remember where you got these, if you didn't get them secondhand, please let us know. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for selling these to me. They were a really good deal and I'm so excited about them. I can't wait to get them on display. Although I don't know where I'm going to put them forever after high, like, <laughs> but we'll see. Anyway, I'm so excited. These are awesome. And again, I've been searching forever after high merch and haven't had a lot of luck. <laughs> All right. This is Mulan's stand. I forgot. Well, it fell off of her. Anyway, I also bought the La Loopsie Girl, Su Suzette La Sweet. And I don't know where she went. Like, she wasn't on display with the other La Loopsie Girls. I don't know where she went, but... I also bought her and I got her for a good price and she even had her pet, but I put her aside somewhere. You know what? Maybe I showed her in another video now that I think about it. Maybe she was in the last video. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> next we have this. So this is very exciting. This is from eBay. I paid like $20 for this and I actually bought this from, I think it shipped from France, but I don't 100% recall. It was somewhere overseas. Or was it the Netherlands actually? I think it was the Netherlands. But this is a brand new Winx Club bag. This is from the uh, like early, early era, season one and season two. I don't actually remember what season the rainy day outfits are from. I think season two, but I could be wrong. It could be season three. I don't know. Um, but I love the umbrella outfits a lot. Someone's gonna be like, I thought you were a Winx fan. You don't have a photographic memory of every single outfit and what episode they debuted in. Are you kidding me? Or like the comic that they debuted in? <sighs> anyway. This is insanely gorgeous. I actually have two shirts from the umbrella set as well. And I just love this art so much. So this bag is, I want this bag not perfect so I can use it because I would, this would be like my everyday bag. I love it that much. So it has this little front pocket, which I love when there's like a less committal front pocket like this. Um, and then there's like an inside, sorry, I'm noticing so many amazing details. So first of all, the design. So we have Stella in her umbrella outfit, insanely cute. We have this rainbow. We have these stars that have glitter in them. We have this rhinestone Stella. It says happy fairy inexplicably. Like, what does that mean? Um, and then it says Winx Club forever on this patch, this like embroidered rainbow. It's so cute. And I love all the different textures. This is like puffy paint or something. And I just noticed this. The zipper tracks are all like gradients. And there's also this back here. This is where I would put like my wallet or something if I had a smaller wallet on me at the time. Oh my god. I want to use it so bad. But I used to use my Wings Club backpack that I bought and um, it's not in perfect condition anymore and it bothers me. This is new with tags. So the tag is from Italy, but I'm pretty sure I bought this from the Netherlands. I don't 100% recall. Um, it also has what I like when bags have like... I'm a purse reviewer. I like when bags have this like square piece sewn on the bottom because it helps them stand up easier, which <gasps> this is a purple. It's a little umbrella that says wings on it. Um, and then we open it up and there's probably pockets inside because it's perfect. There is. I, I, I can't stand when a bag doesn't have interior pockets of some sort. Um, so there's this little pocket for your pencils. That's probably what it's for. And then this little zipper pocket that you would, you know, you put like your little like chapstick and stuff in there so they're not just rolling around at the bottom of the bag and then 
pretty spacious. You could put like an iPad in here. I would bring this to work every single day, but I don't want it to get ruined. I love this. It's my favorite. It's my new favorite. I love Winx merchandise so much, and as somebody who lives in America, the only Winx merchandise I can get are season four merch, which I love. Season four is my favorite season, but I hate that like airbrushed faux 3D art style that Jack's Pacific era was all about in America, and I don't like hate it, hate it, but it's just, I don't like it very much. It's not my favorite. I like the like comic book slash TV show art style a lot better. And Fairy Couture I like, but I don't like that all the characters are whitewashed so much. But anyway, and then also Mattel era, and I have most of the Mattel era merchandise. Like I have most of the really cool ones. Like I have beanbag chairs, I have a canopy, um, I have like blankets and stuff. I have a lot, but I really would love to be able to collect more of the overseas merch, but it's so hard to find. And when I find it, it's really expensive. But this was like, I think I paid $40 total because I paid like 20 for the bag and then like 20 for shipping, which I think is pretty fair. I'm in love with it. People spend like $10,000 on a Birkin. In fact, maybe more. I don't know how much those cost when you could just use this and it's far superior. Anyway, this is gorgeous. It's my, it's like my new gem. By the way, I don't have a single Umbrella Mattel doll. I just wanted to let you know. <sighs> I would love to have them. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> someday I'll find them for sale for not $400. Um, okay, speaking of Umbrella Mattel dolls, funny enough. Oh, here's Mulan's purse. Okay, speaking of Umbrella Mattel dolls, I got one of my holiest Holy Grail of Mycene dolls. Well, I don't have a lot of like this specific Mycene doll as my Holy Grail, but I have a lot of Holy Grail sets and Splashy Chic is one of them. And I managed to get Delancey here. So I got both of these dolls for a hundred, which <laughs> it's a lot, but um, this doll specifically, I feel made it worth it. And both of these dolls are really nice and rare and, and I really would like to have them. So I'm very happy. So this is Splashy Chic Delancey. And the reason I paid so much is because she came with her umbrella. She's missing her necklace, which I didn't notice and I probably should have noticed, but it's okay. Um, there's lots of other Mycene necklaces that will look good on her and hopefully there's another doll that came with the necklace If y'all know like if y'all are a Mycene person, let me know if you know of other dolls that come with these necklaces, but anyway My maximum price per Mycene doll is around $50 unless it's like one of the specific Like I might spend more if they're either in box or it's one of the like lines that I'm really really covet um, Like this one actually maybe it just depends. Um, but I'm so happy this doll I wanted so bad. My scene is a line, like most dolls, I will not spend over $20 each on them. I'm very strict about it just because that's just, I mean, I have a lot of dolls, you know, and I just, as much as a lot of dolls are like holy grails for me, I don't like spending over retail for them. That's just how I am. Uh, so it's very, if you catch me spending more than that, it's either out of complete necessity or I was that desperate for the doll and this is desperation. Um, and necessity. I feel like I would not have been able to find her for retail. But anyway, she comes with her umbrella. And my scene, Splashy Chic, and the Winx Club umbrella dolls are, like, something about it. They're wearing, like, rain jackets. They got rain boots on. They have umbrellas. The colors are always so fun. This particular doll is probably my favorite from Splashy Chic. And Delancey's not normally my favorite. Like, Delancey's always really overpriced, and I just don't get it. Um, but she has these little snails all over her outfit. These little snails. Her, having her in box would actually be quite cool because there's like these cardboard snails in the box, but not happening. I'm not even sure if this line released in America, to be honest. Like, I don't know. The person I bought these from is clearly a Mycene collector, but their prices are overall decently fair. Like, they're not they're not amazing prices, but they're fair uh, compared to what the dolls sell for. And if y'all know what this is, let me know. It's like a... It has Velcro on it, but it's a ribbon. It must go to another doll because I didn't really see it with Delancey in the box pictures that I was looking at. I don't know. But I'm just so excited about her. Maybe someday I'll find a necklace suitable for her. I don't really have a lot of extra Mycene or Bratz jewelry because they get eaten up real fast by the dolls, you know? Like, I'll be like, oh, who? Fomo Funk needs all that. Anyway. And then this is Floral Fiesta <laughs> Chelsea. I'm sorry, Chelsea. Um, your cousin Delancey is from a line that I find a lot cooler than yours, but I was actually gonna buy this doll and I was kind of thinking about it. She was in my cart and then the seller listed this doll and I bundled them together. So I think this doll was like, I don't know, they were both more expensive than what I paid. If I were to combine them, they were probably like 120 or 130 and I got a discount because I bought them both, which I'm shocked the seller did that actually. I'm very grateful. And look at this Chelsea. She's so pretty. I really, really love her makeup. I love that she has her little 
bolero what are these called little thing there's like 45 words for little jacket things like cardigan bolero shrug sometimes like i don't i don't know jacket coat stop having so many words for it because i don't know what it is but anyway i like i like it i'm the reason i pointed out is because my poppy uh through the woods doll is missing it and i am not happy about it um I love the shoes. This is just a really cute line. Floral Fiesta. Adorable. Will I ever be able to complete that line? Probably not, but she actually displays really nicely next to the Unforgettable dolls. And I do have Unforgettable Chelsea, but it's hard to display my scene sometimes because of the size of my collection and I don't have complete lines for every line that I collect. Although I do have a lot of complete lines actually considering. Um, but luckily these two actually display quite nicely with other lines. So this doll I display with the Sailor dolls sailor chic was that what it was called the nautical themed dolls um she displays really nicely with them i'm mostly interested in like the face and the colors and like the theme of the outfits if you can display them with another line then i'm more than happy and this doll thankfully does that although she's like up front and off to the side on my display i already showed it in the video i did another doll room update i'm working on one right now so whenever y'all see that you'll see where i've been displaying her because this was one of the ones, most of these things, I see that it's from Mercari and I put it in the bin. But these ones, I unboxed it instantly and put them on the shelf because I love them that much. Also, amazing hair. I think it's Kanekalon. I guess it, sometimes Saran and Kanekalon are a bit tricky, but I'm pretty sure this is Kanekalon. It is so soft and fluffy. I, most dolls, I'm like foaming at the mouth. I'm like, I really want to wash this doll's hair. And even if it's not going to be a full on like boil condition and stuff, I pretty much always will instantly wash all their hair when I get them. Uh, but this particular doll, I don't want to wash her hair. I already washed her body and everything, but I really don't want to wash the hair because it's so soft and pretty and I love the way it's sitting. It's just so beautiful. So I really don't want to do that. I don't want to mess with it. It's so gorgeous. I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it alone. And I know it, you're like, it's messy. Like it's fluffy. It's not supposed to look like that, but that's how I like it. Kanekalon, when it's like fluffed out like this is my favorite look. It's so beautiful. If it's Saran, sorry, it feels like a neckline. Anyway, the last thing, which is something that I'm very excited about, is this Bratz bin. So this is the Bratz designer jumbo storage bin or something. I didn't know this existed, but on lookinbratz.com, check it out. I'll link in the description. Um, my friend runs that website, and I love that website, even before I met him. So a little starstruck. I met him in New York City. But anyway... I found out about this bin. I was really interested in it. And then miraculously, it showed up on my like Mercari feed. Sorry, Cloudy. It showed up on my Mercari feed and I was like, it's for me. I want that. So I bought it super quickly. I paid $26 um, plus shipping. I think it was around 30 something. And that's a deal. It has wheels. I like these, like in the 2000s, most toy lines would have an adjacent bin of some sort that some other company would release. There's a little pet shop one that one of my friends had that I thought was super cool. Although that was actually Hasbro and it came with an exclusive pet, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, I just love this. It's not big enough to make much um, of a dent in storing my Brad stuff. But what I'm gonna use this for is this will be displayed next to my Bratz dolls and I'm gonna store like extra Bratz that are either doubles for me that I wanna keep or are extras that don't fit on the shelves, but I do, they are display quality so that they're easily accessible. I don't have to like go dig and they're not being stored with like messier dolls or incomplete dolls and stuff. They'll be in here. Um, it has Bratz on it. Isn't this so cute? I really, really love this. And most Bratz merch that's like really awesome and useful like this has the little Bratz art on it for some reason. So really excited about this. I've actually been having pretty good Bratz merchandise luck lately. I've gotten some pretty cool ones at thrift stores too. So anyway, love it. And yeah, it'll, it'll look very nice on display next to my Bratz and it will be very useful. I love this. I love it. There's also these like Bratz shelves that I would love to have like... Bratz shelves like they are Bratz branded shelves they're amazing um anyway that's it for this video <laughs> I am so excited about all this stuff if you guys want to check out I mean eBay you all know about I guess I'll link it if you guys don't know about it but Mercari I will have a referral link which gives us both rewards I did buy some of the stuff with referral rewards I got like three of them last time so I got like $30 so that did pay for like one or two of these dolls um <laughs> which I'm very grateful for that was very exciting. Um, but I will also include a link that's not a referral link because if you're not about that, I totally understand because I just buy this stuff anyway and I just wanted to show it.
on camera. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. For real, for real this time. Bye!